uncomfortable moment on the plane, and we're not talking about turbulence here. ABC's David Wright on the stranger who suddenly fell asleep in her neighbor's lap. And to borrow a line from our friend John Quinones, what would you do? As if the pat downs and the meltdowns and the delays weren't indignity enough. At 35,000 feet, your personal space is precious. So when a perfect stranger encroaches fast asleep, major party foul. I don't know what to do, Steve Cullum mouths. As soon as we started lifting up, she started drifting my way. She immediately became dead weight and pretty much just kind of collapsed on me. Which we all know can be nice if it's someone you love, but otherwise kind of awkward. She just was not waking up and so eventually, you know, I tried coughing loudly and, and things like that to just kind of startle her. Like the seat back and the storage bin, it's part of the etiquette of shared spaces. What should you do? We asked author and flight attendant Heather Poole. Her advice, ring the call button, ask for help. If all else fails, she says, you could create a buffer zone using blankets and pillows or just try politely shaming them. What he did is film her and his reactions and post the video to YouTube. It went viral, maybe the best revenge of all. I think that she probably won't sleep on a plane again, and I know that I won't sleep on a plane again. <laughs> he knows the next time it could be him. Finally, he says, finally off of me. David Wright, ABC News, Los Angeles. The advice, call for the flight attendant. Building the barrier was a little late for that.